A recent report published by the Bank of China said that nearly 60% of Chinese with more than $1.5 million worth of assets available for investing cited better education for their children as a reason for their overseas investments. Some of those investors attended the Beijing Luxury Property Showcase 2012 in Beijing, November 2nd, 3rd and 4th. The show provided many destinations that are perfect for education-oriented investors such as Canada, USA, UK, France, Spain, Italy, Germany, Australia and Singapore. American properties are doing fantastic right now, and the returns on their money would be tremendous. Also, we like to cater to uh, Chinese investors who want kids to go to school. Also, Chinese investors that want to invest in the, in the United States to get immigration status for green cards to work and so on. So we found out right now that the biggest uh, investors today in America is the Chinese. They did $8 billion worth of, of investments in United States real estate last year. While North America, Australia or the UK naturally come in mind when talking about high-quality English-speaking education, many other countries also have a lot to offer and hope to compete in attracting education-oriented investments. They include Thailand and Spain. Considering the problem of child's overseas education, I would like to look to purchase a house overseas. I think Chinese people tend to be more concerned about this issue. Another point might be providing for the age. Well, I think there are a lot of different profiles of buyers. So a lot of buyers are, look, are thinking about the education of their children. So they are looking for properties for the children. A lot of um, Chinese are also looking for lifestyle. So they will be investing in destinations where they can enjoy a, a nice lifestyle such as Thailand, Indonesia or Hawaii, uh, this kind of thing. Other people are also looking for investment, so they will invest in new countries which, with booming economies such as Brazil, for example. Uh, so that's also, uh, that's also a reason. Chinese buyers of beachfront villas, ski resorts, country ranches and marina estates all have one thing in common. They are looking for a high-end lifestyle that will allow them to access a new way of life. According to Oliver de Treglode, tropical and holiday destinations are now attracting a growing number of these lifestyle home buyers. It's very interesting because uh, um, but since the beginning of the year we are uh, discovering this, the Chinese buyers because it's very something new for us and uh, um, we understand they appreciate uh, the history of Europe. Uh, they like, they, they ask us how to buy a castle that has a long history, a castle from uh, 15th or 16th century um, or a very old uh, winers. Um, they, they want to make an investment in Europe that tells a story actually, not just to invest money, they want to have something with a feeling. I won't keep my eyes on only one certain area, although Australia and France will possibly attract more attention from me. I tend to have beachfront villas for vacations, but I don't stay too long. The three-day LPS Beijing 2012 also had real estate companies from Chengdu and Tianjin showing their best properties at the show. There were also more than 20 forums and seminars with around 5,000 guests learning from the world's most respected real estate experts. The show organizer also stated that it's very important for them to come to Beijing because their main target is mainland China.